Hi hey, all. Welcome to my tutorial on plush tutorials. Now this is going to be a theme tutorial and um, the theme is countries. So I chose country Egypt and a lot of things come to mind when you think about Egypt. Very very pretty pretty women. Lots and lots of things come to mind. So um, mummies and whatnot. I decided to, to choose um, the mode of transportation that would be best fit in Egypt, um, besides using automobiles and whatever today, was probably the camel. So why not make a cute kawaii camel, right? So today's tutorial is going to be on a camel from Egypt. Alrighty, so this is our template. As you can see, this is not a normal camel. This camel um, came across an oasis and thought it was a mirage. So it decided to just drink up as much water as it could and it drank up all the water in this oasis and overstuffed himself. So that's why he's all big, round, and chubby because he's all filled with water. And it wasn't a mirage, it was real. So now he's stuck because he can't walk, that's why his legs are flapping out. And uh, he's just a big ball of water right now. So this is how our camel looks like. And it's pretty, pretty simple to make. So let's get on with the materials we will be using. Okay, to make this camel, we will be using black thread, white thread, uh, light brown thread. I have a beige, so light brown thread and brown thread. Ta-da! Get over here. Alrighty, so here goes the color felt that we will be using. Light brown felt, dark brown felt, a little bit of white, a little bit of red, and a tiny tiny bit of black. And this is how our camo will look like once we put these little bitty pieces together. Okay, so here is the camel with uh, most of its parts put together. Um, everything is put together with fell stitching. These are the. This is actually the back. This is the tail. I did blanket stitch on the end of the tail, and I connected it to the uh, tail itself. And then I did fell stitching on the tail and the, the back limbs. These are the hind legs onto the back of the uh, camel and the hump. The, the dark chocolate color fell stitching. Same thing with the front and limbs and chocolate fell stitching. So it goes like that. And then the head itself was um, put together with a uh, blanket stitch and along the seams um, while I was sewing it I attached the ears and the tongue as well. Don't forget the tongue. I almost forgot the tongue. And But um, on top of that the eyes the white and the black were attached to the front piece of the face with um, felt stitching. And this is how it looks like when you put it together. Um, top half, bottom half, and then the head will go about here. Then you do blanket stitch all around and stuff them. And this is how it looks like when we're done. Ta-da! There goes our crazy looking water stuff filled camo. <laughs> There he is. Of course, um, <clears throat> the head I tilted it a little bit. It's not like that on the template. I thought it, I just thought it looked like, you know, it gave him a more goofy appearance, and he's kind of cute. So there goes his hind legs sticking up, and the, the front legs here, and his tail over here, and the floppy ears. And I think he came out pretty well. You know, not a pretty uh, odd type plush, but still cute. So uh, go ahead, make your versions. Let me see them if you do, of course. Um, I don't know, Silky said the other way. <laughs> and uh, 
I hope you like it and I hope you enjoyed it. And um, uh, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget, I have my own channel, uh, Before A Studios. I'm on Twitter, I'm on Facebook, all the links are down there. And don't forget to check all the other tutorials that are going to be coming out on Plus Tutorials. We have brand new members, brand new ideas, and brand new things. Everything new, new, new. It's all crazy. We're having crazy, crazy plush ideas. It's all crazy plush tutorials. Yeah. Alright. So thank you very much.